Hi, today I want to talk about how to find your total sales for the time period, a month, a quarter, whatever time period you need it for, and the total sales tax collected by eBay and your total eBay fees and what your shipping amount was so that even if you are one of the many states that eBay collects and remits sales tax for, you still have to report it. I'm not an accountant and can't give tax advice, but as a seller, I know, and I'm in Colorado, and this was true when I was in California, that even though eBay is collecting and remitting sales tax for me, I still have to report the amount of my sales and the fact that I own nothing because eBay is remitting it. So I'm gonna show you where to find that. I found the report that very clearly gives us that information and I feel like I've found the Dead Sea Scrolls. So we're in Seller Hub and you go to, let's see, <laughs> payments. And under payments, you go to reports. And in the reports, you can put the time period. So for me, I put, I actually put April 1st to April 30th. So you select your time period here and then click re create report. I did this earlier because then it takes a little bit for it to be ready. And then you download the report. It goes into a CSV file. So if you have Excel, you can view it there. If you don't have Excel, you can look at it in a Google Sheets. You can import it there. So I have Excel and uh, to see your total sales, we're just gonna scroll over. Okay, so I'm scrolling to the right and your gross transaction, it's right here. And this number is the total that the buyer paid you. So thankfully, this number is not including the sales tax that eBay collected. Um, and I verified this because uh, your item subtotal is 32.40. And then my shipping and handling was 510, and that does add up to 3750. So even though eBay collected $1.94 in sales tax, that's not included in this gross sales number, which is good. We don't want it to. Okay, because then we would just have to deduct it back out. And by the way, if you also want to see what your final value fee was for this, you can see it here. It was 461. And then the fixed final value fee per sale that you get is 30 cents. So you add these two together to know your total final value fee. Okay, so I'm going to go to the bottom of this column of my gross transaction and get a total. So I have a total for the month. Okay, going down there. Okay, and then I did auto sum and AF is the column, what cell number AF1, oops, and then colon AF620. Okay, so it's totaling all of those cells and that total is 28,023 and 19 cents. Um, because I have had a lot of people <clears throat> with my other videos when I'm talking about um, how to know what your total sales were, et cetera, or how to do it for taxes. And um, they want to know what their total sales amount was. Then they want to add up what eBay's total fees were and also know what amount of shipping was so they can then deduct that back out. And this is how you can do it. And I thought that was totally exciting. Okay, and then I'm gonna show you one other thing, which is if you go to invoices, 
okay. And I chose the date range of April 1st to April 30th and clicked on summary download. And then what I got to see was this. Now, this is a little less satisfying because it doesn't tell you your so total sales, which actually it would be so awesome if it did. So I hope that eBay will add that in at some point. But it does tell you, tell you your final value fee total, insertion fees, um, advanced listing upgrade fees. In other words, things that were checked by accident by me or one of my <laughs> listers, like Gallery Plus or something that we didn't mean to do. Okay, shipping fees, promoted listing fees, international fees, and then any credits back. Okay, and it shows me my total and I can see what part of that was for shipping and what part of that was for eBay fees. So let me know if you have any questions. And if my dog's barking, that'll be the end of the video.